everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I am showing you a Jester B Company Easy Nuke Box or Nucleus Hive Box. This is a five frame portable box, which is really good if you are picking up or selling or just raising Nucleus beehives. This is a corrugated plastic, so it's really good for um, durability. There are cardboard Nucleus boxes. Van Lake makes one for about eight and a half dollars. They're pretty handy to have because you're not so much invested in them that anybody has to return them. However, the bees can chew through cardboard just like they chew through newspaper if you were to combine um, like a weak hive and a strong hive. So keep that in mind. With those cardboard boxes, it's very short term, pretty much for transport only. Um, if you need to, you can have them in this for quite a while. Um, some of the drawbacks about this corrugated plastic that I didn't like is that the ventilation holes here on the back side can become clogged with propolis or wax. The bees that I picked up had probably been in this hive box for about two weeks. It says that there was a mated or a marked queen added to here at 5.30 for me. And the nice thing about this is you can write right on them uh, with a marker or a pen. So real easy to put notes on it and keep track of also. Let me show you inside one of these. So here up close you can see the perforated vent holes and I suppose you could always add vent holes to a cardboard box if you wanted or even a wooden box. The nice thing about these um, being so portable is here's one all broken down and I'll show you at the end of the video how to fold it up. They come totally flat in a flat box for easy shipping and it keeps your cost down as far as bulk measurements. Real easy to get to you, real great for quantity shipping. Now I have two different style boxes here. This is an older one and the newer one has a knockout. And this knockout right here is for a top feeder. They have what's called an easy nuke top feeder for putting on top of these boxes and they're about seven and a half, eight and a half dollars. Real handy to have for feeding any of your nucleus hives because quite often they do need that. Now when I do my own splits and create my own nucleus hives, I usually do them in a full 10 frame super. I actually had to order bees this year and I had started out with two package bees and two nucleus hives a couple of weeks apart. So this is what you find when you open up a box of bees. And I just made a video of installing my nucleus hives. So you so you can look for that on our channel playlist on beekeeping as well. Um, but this is how the frames just sit in here. And they only make these for deeps. Deeps are nine and I think an eighth inch and mediums are seven. So one of the things about the bees being in here is that they can tend to draw comb on the very bottom part of the frame and use up the space in the bottom of the box. So. When I got mine, they were really active bees in the one box and they had drawn comb down in the bottom and I had, to be, I had to knock it off to get them into my super. Now you can see that I've been adjusting these here. They can fall down in shipment. So I didn't like that part of it because of it just in general, you know, they, they left a little too much space in their design for the frames to sit without falling. Um, maybe there's a way that you could tighten it up with a plastic band, which would be really nice if they could include something like a strap to be able to make that stay together. And these are somewhat reusable. They're not just a one-time use. So maybe it's lost some of its shape over time. Um, these are loaners for me bringing my bees home and I'm going to return them. So to show you inside here, I'll take my frames out and keep in mind these are mediums. So look how much room here you have and they leave you about a three quarter of an inch space from the top of the frames and the bottom of the frames so that you have space for feeding your nucleus hive like bee patties so that's good to have also.
So this is what I'm talking about, about the vents being clogged. So my bees had gotten uh, quite busy and they started building wax and propolis outside of their normal line. So some of these holes are clogged right up and it would be a good idea to have those totally clear, but generally you don't want to be bothering your bees too much um, by cleaning these out while they're already being housed in here. So it's best to use it just for transport. And you can see this one's got some murkiness on it. After I had installed my bees, I left this out because there were quite a few um, live bees on a bunch of the wax that I had knocked off. So I just left them there to find their new home. So real handy to have, easy for transport. And they have a nice little door here. This is what they call a locking tab door. It just pops up. Unfortunately, I had not had experience with this and she had told me, you know, that they were ready for me to pick up and that she had it closed up. So that's how you open it up. I had only known to open the lid on top. Now about the ventilation, maybe because they were kind of blocked, you can see there's ventilation holes here also where the cardboard box from Man Lake doesn't have the perforation holes, they do offer a screen that you can add to it. And I assume that it is a knockout, just like the knockout on the lid for the feeder, um, on the cardboard box here, and you can add a screen to it. Now it's not included, and they also don't include a plug for their entrance on theirs, and they don't have the entrance down here at the bottom on the cardboard box. It's just a hole about here, and they sell you a plug separately and the screen separately. So that's gonna cost you close to a dollar for those two items in addition to the eight dollars, eight and a half dollars that you pay for the cardboard box. So being that this is all one piece ready to go, it's a money saver in that way and it's not disposable and it's not gonna get chewed up. So I think that's a good thing to have. you how this goes together and the best thing I can tell you with is start with your lid and it's just like putting together like banker's boxes you just crease your folds bend them bend the flaps and put everything together um, they call them J flaps in this maybe because it's by the Jasper company and I'll start on this end so you can kind of see what's going on down here I just got some prices written down here. Let me tell you a little bit. Now, because these are deep, uh, you can do actual wooden wares and do wooden bee boxes. If you can't make them yourself and you're having to buy them, a, an economy wooden nucleus hive is $16.50 from average pricing, you know, maybe up to 18. There's quantity discount pricing also if you get like five or more at a lot of companies or 10 or more. Um, and that is unpainted. So you spend about $22 if you want them painted. And in comparison, because these are deep, I'll tell you the price on that. So $23.44 for an economy unpainted. You generally have to assemble it on your own. And about $27 for it assembled, painted, you know, Sometimes they're a little bit, uh, they call commercial, so they're a little more heavy duty for frequent use. So you always want to keep some of those things in mind. If you're getting into nucleus beehives, beekeeping, having to buy and transport bees, because it's a lot easier to transport one of these than a heavy wooden box, or like how I used to, I would take them an entire 
medium sized super with 10 frames over to the beekeeper and let him start my nucleus beehives in my own equipment. So that's why I had my first experience doing the nucleus beehives this way. It's way easier. The only issue is now the beekeeper that I bought from wants me to return these. So I gotta make an extra trip. Now, if that was 45 minutes away, that wouldn't be any fun for me. Luckily for me, it's on my way going and running errands, so it's not a huge deal. So I'm gonna get these back to her and get them returned. And you all can watch the next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.